Hello everyone and welcome to Biology On Demand's first video. My name is Jacob and today I will be taking you through a step-by-step -step guide on how to dissect a cow eye. I'm using Carolina Biological Supplies Perfect Solution Cow Eye in their dissection guide. I'll leave a link to this in the video description. Also, before we begin the dissection, you need to make sure you have all of the necessary equipment. You will need dissection scissors, a teasing needle, and forceps. You can also use a scalpel to make more precision cuts easier. Just be sure to exercise caution while using them. Speaking of caution, the safety equipment that you will need for this dissection includes gloves, a lab apron, and eye protection. Let's get started. First, you will remove the specimen from the container it came in. As you can see, I've already done that here. When doing this, make sure the preservative stays in the packaging, as if you are doing this dissection over the course of two or more days, you will need to place the specimen back in its container for storage. Now let's cover the basic anatomy of the outside of the eye. This includes the optic nerve, which is the structure, I will zoom in on it, down here. The sclera, which is underneath this muscle right here and the cornea, which, you, which what's cool about this eye in particular is you can see the lens down through the cornea, which I will talk about more later. Next, we will remove the excess tissue, which is all of this stuff that's around the outside of the eye. This is a long and tedious process and takes some time. Um, so take your time and make sure not to damage the outer part of the eyes. So I'm going to take my bisection scissors and I'm going to do this now. I'm also just going to set what, all, all the stuff that I cut off to the side. Here we go, it looks like I have removed most of the tissue and muscle uh, around, fat and muscle, around the eye. And you can more clearly see this, the sclera, and you can, oh, could have all, you can see the cornea, and you can see the optic nerve a little bit better now. Um, it's really important that when you're doing this dissection to remove all of that excess um, tissue because it makes the dissection a lot harder if you do not. So now, I'm just gonna take this and dump it over here off camera and now we have a clean tray once more to continue all right so now that the tissue is removed we are going to make our first decision I'm going to make I'm going to start my equator cut with my scalpel but you can um, start with your scissors you know this is a there's a multiple ways you can just cut I'm going to start my equator cut with my scalpel I'm going to make an incision here if I can get a good hold on there we go. And as you can see, as as I as it popped, the um, you can see the vitreous humor uh, has started to seep out. Um, and when you're doing this, make sure to not put too much pressure on the eyeball itself. So I'm going to cut. The sclera is fairly thick, so this will take some time. As we cut all the way around, and. Almost through. And there we go. All right, so we are in. Now um, that the eyeball is cut in half, we can take our teasing needle and maybe some forceps as well and remove 
vitreous humor. It, the best way to get it out is to kind of tease it out with your teasing needle. Let's see if I can get a good grip on this. Just tease it away. See, it's just kind of gooping and oozing out. You can also use your fingers a little bit. That'll make it easier to get it out. Also, we have here is the lens. Right here, I'll zoom in on this. This is, this is, this is what um, focuses this that allows the eye to see everything. And in fresh cow eyes, it's usually clear and you can actually see it magnify. Um, but we will take a look at this. If you let this dry out um, overnight or something, you can see this a little bit better. So we will take a look at that then as well. Also too, we can make some think, we can make some observations about the structures that we see, like up, up to this point we can make some observations about the whole eye. We have the vitreous humor, we have the back half of the eye, which we're going to look at in a little bit, the front half, and the lens. Some great uh, methods of making observation that I like to use are, are uh, is a method called, I think I notice, I wonder. I often refer it as to TNW observations in my videos. Um, and I will leave a link to a kind of graphic organizer that you can use to organize your thoughts throughout this video. Um, so yeah, we'll let this dry out overnight and um, I will show you what it looks like um, when you hold it up to text. Hey guys, Future Jacob here. I let the lens dry out for a little while. Um, I just want to show you guys what it looks like um, magnifying. And you can't see it very well. But if you look really closely into the center of the lens, you can see the text scrolling by. Um, and when it scrolls by, it's it's, magn it's magnified. Um, my results were not great, and I think this was because I did not dry the lens off very effectively. You're supposed to dab it. Um, going back and reading the instructions, you're supposed to dab the lens with a, with a paper towel to dry it properly, where I kind of wiped it. That's why you can see there's some, you know, stuff coming up off of it. Because when you first take the lens out, it is, it is kind of soft. Um, so just like wiped parts of the lens away, but if you do it properly, um, you, you could, you could get better results and, and be able to magnify the text a little bit better. So with that, back to the regular video. Okay. After this, we will take the front half of the eye, um, uh, and cut around the outside of where the cornea meets the square. So that's going to be here. This is, so if this is the... Cordy here, we have the sclera here, so I'm going to once again start my incision with my scalpel. Like so. There we go. So do we get do we get through there? Almost. Let's do this. Set it down like here. And cut. You can also take some scissors too if that's not working very well for you. You can cut here. And then cut around like so. All right, there we go, we got that. And now we have the cornea, which is the front part here, and the black part, which is the iris. This is what focuses the light coming into the eye. And um, now you can do your best to separate the iris from the cornea. This is also difficult because the iris, both the iris and cornea are very delicate structures. But we will do our best to see if we can remove them. I sometimes like to go through the hole of the iris and remove it that way. There's many ways you could go about doing that. There we go. See, we got most of that off. So we have the iris here. You can see. Let's get that into focus. There we go. Go ahead, and as you're looking at your specimen, make some TNW observations about the thickness and the colors and the um, substructures that are on there. And take a look at the cornea and make some observations about it. Let's see if we can focus the camera through it. There we go. All right, so there's that. Now we're gonna set these, these other structures aside. Move them back there. 
take a look at the cornea here. Or no, excuse me, the back half of the eye. Um, and we can observe the structures here. Here we find the retina right here, which contains the rod, the cone and rod receptor cells that take in the light. Um, and if we follow all these cells to the back, if we kind of take this, follow them to the back, they'll all, they, they meet in, in a structure called, um, they all converge at the one point which is called the octave nerve. This is also where the blind spot is found, and I'll link a document in the video description to some fun activities you can do with that. Um, so we can kind of tease the retina around, move it around, pull it out, and you can see that they converge at one point back here. I can't get it out any further. Um, so, and then now if we, if we can turn the ball, eyeball around real quickly to the back, you can see the optic nerve and if we zoom in here, you see the optic nerve has a very strong structure and if you notice, if I um, squeeze it with my forceps, nothing happens to it. It's very strong, none of the fibers come off. It's quite interesting, it's a very durable part of the eye. I'm going to zoom back out. Continuing to look inside the back half of the eyeball, um, we can move the retina, which I've already done, to reveal the choroid. This is a thin layer between the retina and the sclera. Um, also, the back half uh, right here of the, of the choroid that looks, that kind of has like a, a blue, green, yellow hue to it. I can zoom in on that and you can see that a little bit better. That is called the tapetum and this is what causes some um, animals eyes to appear to be glowing yellow at night. Um, and yeah, so there we go. And if you can see, you can peel this back so you can reveal more of the sclera right there. You can kind of make some more TNW observations about this. This is a really cool specimen to bisect because it's a, there's, it has a lot of similar structures to a human eye. It's not, of course, not exactly the same, but there's similar structures and it's, a, and it's a, a large eye, so it makes it easier to observe the structure. So make some more observations about this um, and, put some, and put some of those observations in the comments below. I'd like to see what you guys are thinking about the eye. With all that said, this is the end of the video. Congratulations, you have made it through the cow eye dissection. Great job. Um, and make sure, before, before we finish, make sure to dispose all of your specimens, including all of the fat and muscle, um, according to your local guidelines. Make sure we're following, following the laws when it comes to disposing these things. It's very important. And with all that said, that is all I have for you today. Thank you for watching. Be sure to like this video and subscribe to Biology On Demand because we have more exciting dissections coming your way very soon. We will be dissecting a sheep brain and a goat heart coming up soon. So make sure that you're subscribed to that. And have a great day and I will see you in the next one. Thank you.